10, 17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP, future millionaire, and as you know, I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. As we start to see the ramifications of the Fed meeting on the 28th start to set in, as the markets start to brace for the rate hikes and quantitative tightening, unless we decide to go miraculously the other way, I want to see 100 basis points. I feel like they're only going to do 75. So if we only do 75 instead of 100, you know, that could, uh, the markets could overcorrect here. And then on Thursday, Friday, we could see something. So right now, though, it doesn't look good. Markets are reversing. We've been talking about these historical crashes since we were 85% up, 80% up in most cryptos. But the historic part of this crash hasn't happened yet. This historical liquidation I've been talking about for over a year that's in the process of playing out isn't done yet. So even if we do get some kind of miraculous bounce, it's not going to change my targets, the low targets. So everybody who watches on a daily basis, week over week, month over month, quarter over quarter, we're going to be lower until we finally hit that reversal point. We have not. We've hit bear bounces, bear market rallies, but other than that, we haven't hit anything. So I want to read this to you guys. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. I would love to see a little more support with Tom's Army. Um, maybe when we get sub 20 cents and sub 15 cents, some of you said you would join sub 50 cents will join. But I'll continue to put this out here and whoever follows, follows. Ripple lawsuit, James K. Phelan chairs upcoming deadlines and decisions. So this is an update on the Ripple lawsuit or the Ripple uh, court case against the SEC or SEC against Ripple. So at events, lawyer James K. Feline has shared an updated schedule of the important decisions in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit and their expected timelines. So in May, crypto law founder John Deaton filed the motion on behalf of Amnesty to participate in challenge to an SEC expert who claimed to understand XRP, XRP holders' motivations when purchasing XRP. So let me, uh, all right, so let me see to participate in a challenge, blah, 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 blah. So on July 19th, the SEC filed its opposition to the amicus motion and further asked District Judge Torres to revoke her grant of amnesty permission to participate in the case, requesting that and John Deaton be barred from further participation in the case. So in connection with this, the actual decision on whether MSC can participate remains outstanding, as are the decisions on whether to revoke MSC status and whether to bar John Deaton from future proceedings. Ah, son of a bitch. Regarding the Hinman emails, the SEC motion for partial reconsideration was denied and the motion for clarification was granted. Magistrate Judge Netburn ruled that the Hinman documents were not protected by DPP, but then permitted the SEC to identify any of those documents that the SEC claimed were protected by attorney-client privilege. The SEC filed a motion claiming that all the documents were protected by attorney-client privilege, which Judge Netburn denied. Oh, shit. My lighter died. I haven't charged it in like a fucking week. <laughs> um, the SEC's opposition to Magistrate Notburn's ruling is due today, July 26, which remains a big date. The Ripple defendants have until August 9th to file their response to the SEC objection. District Judge Torres is allowing the SEC to file a reply brief, which in due no late, which is due no later than August 16th, then the matter will be fully briefed and decided by Judge Torres. If the SEC loses the privilege issues before Judge Torres, there are chances that the SEC might try to file an interlocutory appeal to the Second Circuit, which may stretch out the decision on the Hinman emails longer than expected. July and August might be a busy time. According to James F. Feline, July and August might be busy times in the lawsuit. Based on the aforementioned decisions, motions for summary judgment, 
may be expected by September 13th. Oppositions are expected by October 18th, while replies to any opposition must, must be made by November 15th. So guys, listen to this. Torres' final decision, he predicts that Judge Torres' decision on expert motions and summary might come on or before March 31st, 2023. I mean, so anybody who's still giving me that bullshit, FUD nonsense that, what if the case settles? Won't XRP explode? Ladies and gentlemen, the case is unsettling. I can make you look in my left eye where it's all white. So, I mean, you can still see my, my eyeball, but there's a thinning of the glory. <laughs> So that's what I wanted you guys to see with the case. This case is nowhere near being settled, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to understand. Okay, so now let's focus in on the XRP chart. I mean, look at this. We're down to 32.7. And if we look at the charts logically and be like, okay, well, what's going to happen here in the immediate short term? Let me take this off so we don't focus on me so much. Um, if you don't get any kind of substantial bounce here in the next couple hours, and I'm serious, you're going to come down to 31.37. And then this is where you could have a chance for this pattern to play out because you look at this legitimately i would love to see it break down that's what i am hoping for i want this pattern to break down but right now resistance resistance support support in here back to resistance now that it came through but we can fill this out still which if we're gonna play this out true this pattern could still have a little more time but once you break back in within this, this is either going to be played out as one big fake out or this is finally going to come down like we've been waiting for forever. And the ultimate targets here, the uptrend, and I know it scares everybody, but the true uptrend of XRP, and I'm not afraid to show it, and I've never been afraid to show it, and it made me look stupid in the beginning, but now that we're actually trending down and we're not at $1.60, $1.90, $1.50, the true uptrend of XRP could very well get us back below a penny if we decided to ride that route. I'm not saying that we're going to ride that route. I acknowledge that that is going to be very difficult to get back into that area. And it's more than likely that you very well could be playing an uptrend like this as well. So I acknowledge that it might not come down to 0.00, 0 or 0 0.0135 area. Acknowledging that. But what I am also saying is that even if we come back to the other uptrend that I'm going to completely say that this was an overshot and we're going to use this one as the uptrend, you know, that still would get us down into the range of 11, 12 cents at minimum. Even if you hit right here, it's 15 cents. You're talking about cutting in half, even from where we're at now. Whoops. I don't know which one. Oh, that was the fifth. But even if you come down from where we're at now on this current uptrend, you just want to talk about this, that would get you down to about the 18 cent level. So we really have to be cautious here because uh, if you're going long on any of these, like I said yesterday, you'd have some balls to go long yesterday, even though it was a possibility. It was a small possibility. We're in a bear market. So now to me, the next opportunity that you might be able to buy a big spike not even a big spike, but you could buy a bounce from 31.32, maybe up to 33. Or if you can get some kind of consolidation. But we really would need a pull up here in a very timely manner to avoid what's coming next. It's that simple. I don't think that this is going to hold anything in here. I don't. It's just... If we're trying to get sneaky here, I mean, we have to understand a historical liquidation's coming... It's already happening. It's just how many suckers can we sucker in until we get into the end. So let me try to get rid of all this clutter that I don't need. Because this looks awful. 
We tried to have some fake breakouts. I tried to show you it from a bearish and bullish perspective to show you the possibilities. But in the end, this is going to break down farther, like I've been saying. It's going to, we've got a long ways to go still. So if you're in a short position, obviously you understand what you're doing. If you're in a long position, it could get ugly. If you're in a short month over month, I have no doubt that you're going to be fine. Even if you were to have small momentary lapses. This still looks like it's going to come back to the true uptrend right now that we're on in the short term. That would bring us back to like 31 cents. And that, or 31 30 that could be your next chance to try to take a stab but right now we even fell under the key 33 man this is just dangerous xrp future millionaire hit that motherfucking like button pay attention to what i'm saying but we're on the verge of a huge historical drop we need a bounce in the next couple of hours to avoid this especially at 31 cents if we break 31 cents look out